Hi, hello, the, today is the day of the July, uh, it's the end of July, and um, I almost forgot to make this video, I totally forgot that this was a thing. I know it's only been a month, but something happened, things have been happening, and then I forgot, and I'm like, whoa, shit, it's almost the last day of the month, I should film this. So, um, this month has manga. I know, it's been lacking very much so, and I feel bad for that, but um, I just haven't been in the mood for reading manga. There's a mood you have to be in. You've, if you collect games, if you collect manga, you collect anime, you, you, there's a mood, and you can drop out of one of those for a very long time, and then one day you'll pop into it and buy way, way too much, like 20 volumes of Hunter x Hunter. Yeah. So, um, which is something I have to go back to because I love that show. So, um, let's start off with the video games because, um, the video games and the, and the anime are pretty even in the amount of how, how much I have kind of thing. And, um, first off, let's get this one out of the way because I actually have filmed a review of this. It's more of a rant than a review because feelings and stuff and uh, you might already know what it is by me even saying that and that is watch underscore dogs for the PS4 I know it's just watch dogs but they think they're fancy and um, yes uh, if you don't know there was controversy around this game for like two years now um, in 2012 there was an E3 trailer which blew people's bloody minds it looked way 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 too good it looked it looked unbelievable because it was it was a lie um, <laughs> what we got in the end PS4 uh, back then they announced they are running on PS like PS4 uh, like hardware basically they're saying this is what it'll look like on next gen and when it came out um, it was nothing it, like graphics wise the graphics are nice for this game but they are not that trailer and they the game has a lot of issues like you can't shoot out of your car, you can't roll your car, the car is very hovery when you hit jumps and stuff. Um, a lot of dumb little bugs. Um, I'm not going to get into a whole list, I have a review of it, but if you go online you can find other people talking about it. It was kind of a PR lie. Um, doesn't make the game bad, it was actually quite fun, but what could have made this game like an 8 or a 9? Um, because of what they showed and what they said they were going to do and then the delay for polishing for half a year and then it came out even worse than two years prior this game goes down to like a six which is a shame it's a real big shame but if you get it for 30 something bucks pick it up why not it's on PS4 if you have an Xbox 360 I'm sorry don't uh, I saw footage of the Xbox 360 one and it's Oh, Minecraft textures. Um, <laughs> it's not worth it. Um, next is a game I I didn't play. Okay, that's a lot. I played ooh, maybe five hours of it. And there's plastic still on it, and it's bugging me. Um, and I just can't get into it. Um, there's some gameplay mechanics that are just kind of disgusting sometimes. And <sighs> I know I'm going to get crucified for this. But uh, <laughs> that is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 for PS3. This comes with Kingdom Hearts uh, Final Mix, uh, Kingdom Hearts the DS game, and Kingdom Hearts the Game Boy Advance game, I do believe. Um, all in HD. Something like that. Something very similar to what I just said there. Um, actually, I think the Game Boy Advance game was remade on PS2, and this is probably the PS2 version, I would say. Yeah, most definitely. Um, so, uh, there's just things in this game. I got, to be honest, I got, I played it in hard, because why not? And, um, if you know about this game, you're, it's Final Fantasy characters mixed with Disney characters. It is the weirdest concept, I think, in the world. But it exists, because it's in my hand. And, this game was made, I don't know, I don't, I don't even want to say a year, maybe 2003, 2002, I don't know. Back on PS2, right? It was, it's quite old. Uh, from today's standards now, you know what I mean? Um... But, there's some really dumb little things. They're, they're, okay, here's one of my bigger ones that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, there's a point of the game where you fight a, a, a Final Fantasy character near the very beginning. 
and you're supposed to lose the fight and then you get attacked by these demon things and you can grind and fight all these demons and you can fight another boss thing and if you die during any section of that which could be 30 minutes to an hour of you just doing your thing there is a save point which you can go and save in but when you die instead of loading your save point it loads you back to the Final Fantasy boss character thing um, which I kind of thought was unacceptable. If I saved after that fight, why are you load checkpoint loading before the fight? Um, there's a lot of things like that. Like I, I would grind, 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 then I'd save, and then I died, and then it loaded me back to beforehand. And um, I think if I possibly wanted to, I could exit the game like from the PS3 menu, reload the game, which goes to like two different menu, like two different things, because you have to choose the game, and then I have to see all the logos for that game, and you finally gotta load the game. Minutes and minutes and minutes of work. Which I know is whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's a stupid little thing um, that if this was a remix version, you think they could have easily fixed, and someone, someone would have said something. But um, there's just a lot of little like back on PS2 kind of game design flaws which stop, made me stop playing it which is really sad because this game I know is loved by a lot a lot of people and um, it rubbed me the wrong way and I, I've owned this on PS2 also but I finally thought I'm gonna get back into it in this game and it just no, I can't which is sad I might go back and try playing the DS game or the Game Boy Advance PS2 remake game thing but yeah um, it kind of bugs me which is sad. Um, so next, um, ooh, okay, one of these I should I should honestly talk a lot about, but I can't because I didn't put that much time to it. Which is really sad if you guys know me, and that is the day one edition of One Piece uh, Unlimited World or some shit like that. Uh, <laughs> this is the One Piece um, RPG beat 'em up game. This is basically back. I want to say, not even a year ago, there was a uh, 3DS game that came out called uh, Romance Dawn, which was a PSP game in Japan, and it was an RPG turn base with all the cutscenes being like worse than visual novel. And I did a review on it, um, and I say what I said there, so I'm not going to get into it there. This game was the game that people were wanting to come out, and a lot of them didn't think it would ever come out. And it did. Uh, it came out on 3DS, it came out on Vita, PS3, and I want to say on something else. But I think most of them are downloaded. The only ones are physical copies, I think, were the 3DS and PS3 one. Um, I got it on the 3DS just to be like, you know, to match my other one. And it originally launched on the, the uh, 3DS. So, you know, original kind of how people would have viewed it originally. And for 29 bucks, and I actually got it cheaper than 29 bucks because I pre-ordered very early on. Um, I got it for quite cheap, and it was fun. Now, uh, in the game itself, it's a side story of uh, New World, which New World—that's what it's called, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say it anyways. And um, it's a side story, so you're not really spoiling anything. You might spoil if you didn't know a certain skeleton character shows up in the in this game and in the show eventually, if you don't watch past the Funimation dub or don't know anything about the season 6 of Funimation's dub which I currently watch if you guys didn't know and um, this game is playable uh, it's there's no dubbing it's in the Japanese voice acting which might bug some people considering but um, it's fun I didn't get too too far into it it's it's still it's like an RPG beat em up where you can you fight guys, you kill some navy dudes, and then you gain your levels, and then you can get different outfits and stuff. And it's basically um, it's a one piece. It's just your basic one piece game. If you guys have heard of any other ones where you run around, you beat up a bunch of dudes, and you gain your levels, and then you go through the story. It's basically that. Um, I haven't been able to get too far into it though, because uh, I got another game. Um, which I'm going to talk about last year out of these games because it's taken over 50 hours and I still haven't beaten it. <laughs> uh, next is the game I haven't played yet, but I'm very, 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 very excited to play it actually. Uh, I just want to beat the other DS game that I uh, have here, which is the one that I put 50 hours uh, And that is The Legend of Starfeet. I've never played it. I know this is like the third game in the series, or there's three in the series on DS, but we only got the one because of 
America, I, I don't know, Japan, <laughs> and um, from what I understand, which isn't too, too much, let me just take a sip here, it is a Kirby-like platformer. I don't know if anyone from Kirby helped make it or not, or how it works, but it is very, very, very much Kirby, except you're a little starfish guy. And it looks, it looks fun, it looks car colorful, all that junk. I got it for like 10 bucks, not even, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I think it was 10 bucks, and I've been wanting to play it, so for 10 bucks I wanted to pick it up. But I haven't been able to play it because of the next game here that I'll talk about after this one. Um, this game I actually, I haven't been able to put too, too many hours into, like, maybe two hours um, because at first I didn't like the Wii U pa uh, the gamepad controls and then uh, I have a GameCube adapter I can play with a GameCube controller but the D-pad on there is god-awful so uh, today I actually received a Wii U Pro controller which um, is very nice I think it's bootleg but that's we're not gonna do my my bootleg issues I've had the past couple days but um it's very playable with this new controller, and that is a game that is actually kind of uncommon now. And that is Tekken! The Tournament 2, Tag Tournament 2, whatever, Wii U Edition. Uh, you might be thinking, why the hell did you get a Wii U Edition um, of Tekken, of all games? Well, um, for one, it's nice to have a Wii U game. Um, but two, and probably the main important part, it has like all the downloadable content, from what I understand. It has new content, where certain characters have the link uh, you can get Link's costume, Zelda's costume, um, Star Fox's costume, Mario, Luigi's costume, did I, say, did I say Captain Falcon? Captain Falcon, Ganondorf, and Samus. I think that was all of them. I might have missed one. But they, different characters have different costumes. Uh, some characters who you think should have a costume don't, like Nina, who is a blonde ponytail type girl doesn't have Samus's outfit, which makes zero sense to me. But um, it has all those outfits. It has, I think, all the DLC characters. I'm just trying to look at back here. It has Tekken Ball, which is a, a mode that was back in the PS2 version of this game. Um, mushroom Battle, which is a new mode where you fight people and I guess there's mushrooms. You grab the mushroom, you get bigger and get stronger. I don't know. Uh, exclusive costumes, touch panel moves, Fight Lab, Largest Playable Roster, and Pair Play. There's a whole bunch of content in this game. So this is like the defining version, I guess, of Tekken Tag Tournament. And I'm not a huge Tekken guy. But, uh, if you guys didn't follow me on Facebook a while back there, I played a hell of a lot of Tekken vs. Street Fighter on PC. My camera decided to tell me that I had no memory and it was still recording, so I don't know what we missed there. But I'm just going to say, um, I think we're back on here. Um, something about Tekken and how it has everything, and this is the best version of the game. And um, I played a lot of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, that's what it was. And um, I got used to some of the Tekken characters. Um, but that art style compared to this art style is complete. This is like actual normal people looking art style, so it's really weird to see some of my favorite characters from Street Fighter X Tekken in this. But this game has buttload of characters. Um, if you can get this for the Wii U and you want a fighting game to, to, to fuck around in, um, this is a really good one to just grab real fast. Um, only issue is it's kind of uncommon. Uh, I know online I've seen it go for around 40 up. Um, around 30 sometimes too, but I got this for 15 and I've been really wanting to play it, so I picked it up and got it. And from what I played, it's quite fun. Totally worth it. Um, it has a French insert? What's this? Is that two different covers? Oh, cool! Yeah, I didn't even know this! Okay, <laughs> here's the cover. Um, the normal cover that you normally would see. It has a reversible cover! With Nina! One of my favorite characters! Okay, I'm swapping it. <laughs> Okay. The, the things you learn. I'm just sorry, but you know, this very, very important thing I'm doing. Oh, I'm throwing it. It has a reversible cover with Nina and the girl that hates Nina, and I don't know her name. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know that existed. That's amazing. Okay. So this should be the last video game. Um, this game I put over 50 hours in. I'm... At the, the, the boss door, I know there's going to be a few more people I have to fight. I'm stuck currently. Um, here's a, some hints. I'm a level 70, like 2. Uh, minstrel. 
guess what he's, what he's called. And um, I still can't beat one of the bosses because he crits me every time. It has the art style of Dragon Ball Z. And um, yeah, it's Dragon Quest IX. Um, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Um, I've been wanting to play the one of the one of the portable uh, Dragon Quest games, and what I mean by that is they they put a lot of the Dragon Quest games on DS and 3DS. So I've been wanting to grab one of them, but they're usually not the cheapest thing. Um, I got this one for about 11.99, I think I got it for around there, anyways. And um, well, considering the amount of time I put into the game. I've got my money back in like 200 bucks more kind of thing. Um, more than 200 bucks. I got a lot of money out of this game. <laughs> That's all you gotta know. Um, yeah, it's Dragon Quest. If you don't know, they're an RPG. Um, kind of like the old school Final Fantasies where it's turn based. The art style is Akira Toriyama. They were back on the Famicom and the Nintendo. Dragon Warrior was the original name uh, for Americans and Canadians because they changed it to make it sound more warrior manly. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> so this is the ninth one, and the ninth one only came out on the, on the DS, which is weird not to see a console release. Um, and uh, you play as a angel dude who gets pushed. He falls out of his angel area. And you lose your wings and powers, and you gotta gain your powers from level one, and then you have to fight the bad guy and the traitors and all that kind of junk. It's a Final Fantasy type RPG. If you guys know an RPG, it's your RPG. Uh, and I've put in like 50 hours into it. My character looks like a Super Saiyan. I think I have a photo on my Facebook. He's whoring already. I know, but um, yeah, it, it's it's quite fun. Uh, you can have a party of four, or you can solo it, which I am doing, and it's impossible. Because I've seen people do, the, the boss I'm at right now, I've seen people do it level like 30. I'm level 71 and I just can't. And uh, I don't wanna, I, I know if I got teammates, the game would, I'd beat it like today, in, in like an hour or two. But I want to do it solo, because I'm stubborn. And I have like 100, 100 like um, skill points on like my strength and 100 skill points on my defense, which is max, and I can't. It's, it's it's so mean. It's so mean, but it's so good. 50 hours in, it's probably gonna take me another 20 to beat the damn thing, which is sad. <laughs> but um, that's it for the video games, from what I understand. Remember, if I forgot something, I'll put it in the next update. Um, ooh, I, there's more things here than I thought. Okay, so I'm just gonna get to the single DVDs here first. Um, these they were four bucks a piece, I think. And uh, I've been wanting to watch some of this bastardized show. Um, but it also came with white cases, which helped me with a project I was working on that I needed white cases for. So really, I got some nice white cases out of this. Um, and that is Robotech um, volumes. Let's see what I got here. Okay, why can't I know how to, oh, there we go. I have volumes, volumes one, volumes two, Volumes 7, Volumes 8, Volumes 9, and Volume 13, uh, which is like, I don't know, how many episodes are in each disc? Six episodes each disc, so 12, 24, 36 episodes? Something like that. Um, I basically just got it because there's a guy named um, Happy Console Gamer who had a giant rant on Robotech and Harmony Gold, the company who owns Robotech. And uh, they also own all these other anime, which if you don't know, Robotech is a bastardization of three different anime. I don't know what they are. I know one of them is Macross, but there's three different anime that were butchered and cut together to be one anime. And I know there's a lot of fans who hate that because the company, Harmony Gold, who owns these anime, won't release um, in the States the uncut like original shows and recently they did a kickstarter where they wanted to make a new robotech which now these were back like in the 80s and 90s made sense but now to do a cut up butcherization of a show in my last update i talked about um warriors of the wind which was a cut up bastardization of um nasa nasa nasca valley of the wind and um you you know, you, you can just understand what they do 
just cut something up, change the names to sound more Americanized, that kind of thing. I think they named her Lily in Nazca. I don't know, I haven't watched it yet. But um, yeah, it's that kind of thing. So I picked them up basically just for the cases. Uh, so yeah, these next three anime, which is all the anime, are all, all complete episodes or shows. And I haven't seen any of these yet. I've actually watched the top one here, which we'll show first. I've watched a bit of it years ago because I had a friend who was into it. But otherwise, I haven't actually watched these yet. And that is the um, really rough condition. Uh, Oran High School Hostess Clubs, the complete series, 26 episodes on four DVDs. Uh, I don't know what this edition is. It looks fancy. It looks like I probably got a deal out of my 24 bucks I spent on this and the rest of these. Actually, one of them I got cheaper, I think. But um, it's in really rough condition. But it is the complete, complete show. Um, it's got a... Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry for the language. It's got a thing that pulls out here, which I know back in the day it meant probably bootlegs, but the fact that there's Funimation splattered all over this uh -huh, makes me think otherwise. But um, yeah, I watched it a while ago um, before I knew anything about a lot of things. And if you, you know, being a guy and watching that show can be a little awkward sometimes. So I didn't get too far into it. I did actually watch a fair chunk of the live action version of the show, which was made years later. And which was one of the reasons why I watched the anime version, which is backwards as all hell. I know. But, um... High School Hostess Club can't say too much about it. You know, a uh, girl who goes to a guy school, but... To, no. Sorry, she doesn't do that. She looks like a guy, and they think she's a guy, and she... There's a hostess club where the guy... What? Cat? Was that a cat? Am I the only one who heard that? That was weird. Um... I don't even know what I was saying. Girl. Um... Hostess club, guys, tea, girls drink tea, uh, they think she's a guy, so she helps girls drink tea. So on the next anime, um, that is Final Fantasy Unlimited. Just this cover alone, when I saw this cover, I was like, it's Gonzo, it's Gonzo, it's, go it's, go it's Gonzo. And uh, two seconds later, I find out, yeah, it is Gonzo. Um, if you don't know, Gonzo is a company who, every anime they make, it's a 50-50 of it being worst garbage ever or being something really, really good. Um, and it's never in the middle. And it makes no sense to me. But th they'll make something like, I guess, like Trinity Blood, which I know a lot of people like. And then they'll go and make something like, um, that's so bad. I, whatever I say I think is bad, people are going to go, how dare you? Um, man, now that I'm looking at my wall, I don't know if I own any of their bad stuff. I got it. I probably do. Whatever. They made things like Speed Graffer. They made things like Sultry Ray, which is a ripoff of Speed Graffer. It's very weird. Um, County Monte Cristo, which I know a lot of people like. Oh yeah, talking about things that they made that are bad. Final Fantasy Unlimited. Um, I haven't seen this yet. I've seen reviews of this many years ago, and a lot of the reviewers give this horrible, horrible reviews because it's just it's just not Final Fantasy, I guess. I guess there's maybe a couple Final Fantasy um, creatures, like, you know, a chocobo. Oh man, the animation looks really janky. Okay, um, I wasn't looking at that. I was looking at the back pictures, um, but they... I guess nothing in this you wouldn't know is Final Fantasy if someone didn't tell you. Uh, you might think like, oh, that, that chicken horse looks kind of like a chocobo, but people, you might not know. Um, so yeah, I've heard really bad things about this show, but a nice art box chipboard type thing for 20 something bucks, that's A-OK -okay with me. Um, now, another limited edition chipboard, that cat is bugging me. Um, cat, shut up! <laughs> uh, that is, um, Seed Control, which I have not seen. All I know is there's this weird looking lolly with horns. But, um, I know I had a friend who watched this, I believe. And I think he made me watch the first episode, or at least he made me watch something from it. Um, but the art style looks 
very interesting. It kind of looks like Shaft, but I think I remember reading it was someone different. But I forget. Um, nice little chipboard. It's not the best of quality of these chipboards I've seen. It's actually kind of janky, really. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Uh, <laughs> uh, it comes with the DVDs and the Blu-rays. I don't know which one's which. I'm just showing you the things. The DVDs and the Blu-rays. Um, haven't been able to watch it yet. It's only 13 episodes. Uh, so I should just sit down and watch it. But I still haven't finished Cat Planet Cuties, which I said I was going to finish, like, last month. And I'm only have four episodes. I should just sit down and watch it, but I've been out of the mood and been watching a lot of Retsu Prey. Don't search it. Um, so yeah. Haha. -ha. Now the last thing, which I claimed was anime, or sorry, whoops, I claimed was manga, which was a slight lie, um, <laughs> and that is, um, the uh, Otaku USA, which I got actually today. I got it this morning. So I haven't actually been able to look at it. I've been able to open it. But this is my sixth one, I think, out of the 12 I've bought. One, two, three, four. I mean, it's only the fifth one. Um, but because I live in Canada, I get these things like extremely late. Like, it's supposed to be every, it's a bi monthly. I think it's every two months you're supposed to get them. And I get them maybe three months I don't know it's a long long time I know the one time they were so late that I got two in like a week so that should tell you something so I wasn't expecting this it's cool to see the Sailor Moon thing on the cover um which October 2014 when was October October hasn't happened I'm in the future this is a future magazine Okay, guys, I don't understand why magazines do this. I work in a convenience store, so I see this shit all the time. But you have the October 2014 there in the corner, but the bottom here says retailer display until September 30th. So why why would you pull the magazine? Yeah, am I crazy? Why would you pull the magazine before the month it's for? I don't know why they do that. But um, when I said manga, I wasn't lying. There is a uh, manga in these, and they're usually kind of like how Shonen Jump used to do it, where you'd get, you know, a free chapter or two. It's upside down because you're supposed to flip it, but I'm too lazy. And this one actually came with a free poster, uh, Tales of Exilia, which is, that's kind of cool, to be honest with you. I don't want to rip it out, though, but that's cool. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to actually, oh, there's a, a double-sided poster? What's going on here? Oh yeah, it's... What is that? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what that is. Short piece. That's another game. I've never heard of that game. That looks kind of cool. But yeah, it comes with manga. It comes with your reviews and stuff of things. I've talked about these before. Um, it's the only anime magazine in English right now. <laughs> Hey, that's um. <sighs> what is it called? <laughs> when they cry, but um, cicadas when they cry, whatever. Why is this here? Why is this here? Is it? Are they just reviewing old things. That's interesting. Um, and they got some game reviews. Oh, they're reviewing J Star Victory, which is interesting. I didn't think that was coming out down here. Yeah, they're, they, so they're reviewing Japanese games. That's cool, they're reviewing Japanese-only games right now. Uh, they got Project Diva, which is coming out soon, the second one. Oh, no, this is the review on the first one. But why? Um, Tomodachi Life. Dead Out Flames, do you see that? What's that? It's a horror game. Why does that look like Fatal Frame? A frame less fatal? Looks like it's a PC only game. It looks kind of old too. I'm going to search that up after this. Um, so yeah, it's your. Uh, it talks about conventions and all that kind of thing. And for Canada, be warned, it's like 60 bucks for two years. Which might sound like an okay deal, but when the Americans can get it for about $29.99, I believe, for two years, it's kind of disgusting how much we get screwed over considering uh, I think our, I'm pretty sure our dollar's worth more. That could be wrong, 
but it's not worth thirty dollars more. Um, Canadian problems. But um, yeah, that is the month. I know this was probably one of the worst videos I have ever made. Which, um, I'm sorry for that. And, um, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you guys got anything cool this month, uh, tell me. Um, yeah. Uh, got any cool games? Got all that stuff? Say hi. I don't know. But, uh, like me on Facebook. I will randomly say what games I beat. And you might get some insight of games before I talk about them. Or anime before I talk about them. Or all that kind of thing. And sometimes I randomly post pictures of things that make no sense. Um, oh yeah, and you sometimes get little mini videos of me farting as um, a South Park character. It doesn't matter. Thank you for watching, and I apologize. And yeah, I gotta end this video somehow, so uh, look what I found. If you guys didn't notice, I last month I lost this. I lost her, and now she's back. She's back. And she has a friend. Oh, that's, ooh. Oh, that was awkward.